Okay, so we're going to talk about recording audio and sonar. Now, before we do that, there's a couple things that we do have to check to make sure that we have set correctly. And the first of those is that our audio options are set. So to do that, we go to the options menu and choose audio. And then we want to make sure that since we're recording with a professional interface, that we make sure we're in ASIO mode. So you can see right here we're in WDM mode currently, so we're going to switch that to ASIO. And once we do that, Sonar requires that we restart the application. And we have to do this after making major changes to the audio engine. So we go back up now to Options and then Audio. We're going to make sure that it's still set to ASIO. That's good. And then we can go over to the General tab and see that we don't have anything set back to Playback and Record. So we're going to go over to the drop to here and select the M-Audio USB ASIO that we're using. And we hit OK, and we, of course we have to restart the application. So now we'll create a new project, and we'll choose to uh, save it on our a different hard drive. If you have two hard drives, it's always a good idea to not save on your system drive. And always remember where you're saving your project so you can find it later. Now when you choose the normal template as we're doing here, this will give you two audio tracks and two MIDI tracks. We'll just work with the first audio track for now. What we want to do here is make sure that we can see all the different views in the project. And If you maximize the project view, you'll see these little folder tabs down at the bottom. We want to select I.O. and then this box with an I is where we actually select our input. Now, One thing to remember about Sonar is that it will group all audio inputs and outputs as stereo pairs. That is to say, instead of just seeing channel 1 show up, you'll see channel 1, then you'll have the options of left, right, and stereo. So you can see here how that breaks down. So once we have our input chosen, we're going to record and enable the track. And then as we start talking into our microphone or playing our guitar, we'll see signal come through. That little blue bar going up and down is our level meter. So to record, we come up here, press our record button. And we're recording. You can see we're really not getting a whole lot of signal here. So we're going to stop this and we're going to try again. What we're doing now is turning up the input on our audio hardware. In this case we're using an M-Audio Fast Track Pro, so we're going to turn up the gain knob on our input. You can see our signal is, is considerably higher. So we're going to try and record again. You can see that looks a lot better. So once we've recorded what we want, we're going to stop recording take the track out of Record Enable, and then play it back. And at this point, you should be hearing something. If not, then double check to make sure that your speakers are plugged in and that the volume's turned up. Well, we hope this video has been helpful, and thank you for choosing Sweetwater.